Hi there guys, my name is Samad Ahmed. I'm a youth rep slash youth volunteer here at Spotlight Link Centre. And behind the camera is my trusted friend slash colleague slash youth rep and volunteer, Ibtik Hussain. And today we're interviewing our lovely friend who attends the place. So, what's your name? How old are you and what do you do? So, hi, my name is Nijamul Azim. I am 19 as of right now. And I currently go to college full time, study art and design. Sweet. So knowing all of that, right, what, why do you come here? Why Spotlight links up? Why do you come here? The reason why I come to Spotlight is because of the fact that the youth, as of right now, is, is very, very troubling. You don't know, they're so lost. And I want my, I know staying outside too long is like time consuming and I want to use my time effectively, which is why I come to Spotlight because I see it useful, I see it beneficial, I learn something every time I attend here and it makes me grow as a human being. Sweet, that's interesting man. So what do you like about Spotlight? What attracts you and draws you to come here? What attracts me to come here is due to the fact that first of all it's local. I like it that you know it's walking distance. You know if I come late it's not that much of a big issue because I could come here and think. Secondly, what I see fundamental here. Yeah. What, well, what drugs were attracted to you? Yeah, yeah to, uh, for me to attract you, it's just that the activities here, you know, I mean, it's engaging, you know, I learn about different people, I meet different people, I do different stuff that helps me to grow and makes me become more wise, more knowledgeable when I attend here. As well as that, it makes me less distractive about what's happening outside because of, of due course. to knife crime and everything like that. So this that allows me to put all my attention to here, which makes me more, you know, uh, helps me with my head when it comes to well, using positive. Yeah. Definitely. That's interesting, really intriguing. Uh, but what changes do you want to see in the spotlight? Honestly, the resources here for the people that attend here um, is um, it's, it's not that much engaging because it's just falling apart and it's just like it's kind of disturbing okay. because it puts you off a bit. Right. So, in my perspective, in my opinion, I would want to see a fo table table football, okay. a, a new pool table, as well as. Uh, I, a hockey table, ice hockey table. Oh, you mean air hockey table? Air hockey table, yeah, that's the one. Okay. Because it's not because of the fact that I would want it. I know that if if these resources are implemented in this establishment, I know that it will attract more people to come here, as well as it will help us to be more engaging. Because then you know that there's other things you know you could, Indeed. yeah, because it's not limited. Because the resources here are limited, it's not that much that you could do here, which is why I think that you know if you implement these things into the youth, I think that it will help us beneficially and it helps us a lot. Honestly, that's yeah. nice to hear from you. Man. Thank you for that. Yeah. Thanks, man. Uh, help. Uh, good to be helpful.